welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you 8 weekly spread ideas for your bullet journal. To start off, I'm going to show you a very easy and simple double spread layout with 7 boxes for each day of the week. So I'm just writing month with a brush pen where you're going to write the current month and underneath I've just written week number so you know how far into the month you are. Then I'm just drawing 7 boxes using a black fine liner and a ruler and then I'm just decorating the boxes with plants and I've also written the days on the pots. After you've set up your spread you can go ahead and write notes on the designated box. The second one I'm going to show you is a weekly spread using the Dutch door technique. To do this you're going to need 3 pages starting the first page on the left and then you're going to take the middle page and cut that in half. I'm going to save the other half of the paper to cover up future mistakes because I know I'll make some but you can use it for anything. Then just divide the first and third page in half and write the days of the week on the inner part of the spread and then decorate the outer part of the spread with whatever you want depending on your monthly theme if you have themes or you can use the space for more notes or writing down top priorities. The third spread is just a simple vertical layout, so I'm making a table with 7 columns, one for each day of the week, and then I'm adding 2 rows, one for events and one for tasks. This is just to organize your days a bit better so you know if there are any major events that week that you need to attend or prepare for, which you'll write down in the task section. Then of course I'm just decorating the free space with some moons and stars, but of course you can decorate it with whatever you want. Number 4 is a 2 page spread but the days of the week are on the one page on the left and then I'm leaving the page on the right for weekly highlights. So for this one I decided to give it a cloudy theme but you can do whatever theme you want. I just like this one because it's a very forgiving theme, it's hard to make a mistake because clouds can be whatever shape and it's just perfect for one page weeklies since you don't need to give the clouds precise measurements so you can definitely fit as many clouds as you want in one page. So the weekly highlights page just allows you to get more creative and draw out your favourite parts of the week. So for this one I wrote that I found my new favourite ice cream place. So on the highlights I'm just doodling an ice cream cone to remind me of this beautiful moment. I really like the idea of having a space for doodles but if you don't really like drawing you can write the highlights in big lettering or you can stick some pictures or seeds or whatever it is that will remind you of that particular day you want to highlight. Number 5 is if you like tracking habits but don't want to use up too many pages in your bujo for all your trackers each month. So I'm just drawing a box and adding a small section on the right with subsections for each thing I want to track. So for this one I drew 8 water droplets to track my water intake. Each droplet represents a quarter of a litre because I'm aiming to drink 2 litres a day. And then I've drawn 3 faces to represent each mood. 5 apples to track my 5 a day and then 3 books to track hours for reading. I really like this weekly setup because it just allows you to see everything in one page. I do like having a page for different trackers because I get to decorate them but I just think this is really helpful if you want to save space or you just want to have everything in front of you. Number 6 is a very minimalistic spread which is perfect for anyone who doesn't have a lot of time to draw out 7 boxes each time but still want to have a nice layout. So I'm just drawing a horizontal line and then drawing vertical lines for each day of the week and for this one I just did one line for Saturday and Sunday because weekends are usually less busy for people but feel free to tweak this to suit your needs. At the bottom I've just added a simple box to write next week's task and of course I still want this to look nice so I'm just adding simple pastel colours and some little leaves.
The seven spread is great for practicing gratitude, so at the top I'm just drawing a ribbon banner for the month and then I'm drawing a box for the day and then I'm just drawing a vertical line to create another section on the left and then I'm splitting that left section in half for the highs and the lows of each day. I think this is really good if you want to look back on what happened in the previous weeks to read about all the good things that happened but also to reflect on the lows. I think doing both is important so you become more aware of each day and this just really allows you to be more thankful each day. The eighth and final weekly layout is only using one page which is perfect for anyone who doesn't really have a lot of pages in their bullet journal for two page weekly spreads. I find that sometimes one small box is enough for each day for me since I don't write that big anyway. This weekly layout is also for documenting your days in a more musical way and you'll see what I mean in a bit. So for this one I'm just drawing seven small boxes and I'm taking a section of each box and adding a little play button on the left. This is where you can write your song of the day. This is just for anyone who likes to listen to music or likes to make mixtapes or playlists. This will really give you an overview of what you listened to in the past weeks. So you can create a playlist for each month or even each week to then listen to in the future just to reminisce. I think that using music to document each day is such a great idea especially if you don't really know how to explain your emotions and I just think it's fun to see what music you liked in the past. Alright, so here's a flip through of all the spreads I've shown you. I hope you found this useful. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment your favourite spread down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.